over to my channel if this is your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so in today's video i'm going to make a simple video on how to cut turtle neck off shoulder top so this is simply a combination of your turtle neck and your off shoulder top so i hope you find this video very informative if you do don't forget to subscribe and join us for training all the details are going to be in the description box below so what are the basic measurements required our shoulder measurements both measurements weight and our hip so our shoulder is 14 14 divided by 2 we have 7 our both is 36 36 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 1 we have 10.5 our waist is 30, 30 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 2, we have 10. Our hip is 40, we have 40 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 1, we have 11 inches. So these are the basic measurements required. And of course, you are also going to determine how many inches you want to take off. And note that the number of inches you take off determine how off you, your dress or your top is going to be. And you are going to make use of that number of inches for your turtle neck. You are going to understand that better when we are cutting our fabric. And of course, I'm going with my pattern paper. Now, pattern paper are available at our store. And what I love about this pattern paper is it's about 60 inches long. So this is how long it is. So you can see it's about 60 inches long and it comes in a bundle. And guess what? This pattern paper is available at our store. So you can get your pattern paper. I'm going to put down the details on the screen in case you want to get yours and we are going to deliver it to you. Now, you can also join us on Facebook where we also have fashion that we also have different styles with illustration and also visit our website guys if you are missing if you've not been to our website you guys you are actually missing okay so visit our website we have different topics and different illustration on how to achieve them on our website i'm going to put down the details in the description box so you can click on the link and go ahead and read up on our website so now let's move straight into the fabric we are going to do is we are going to go ahead and mark our top length which is 24 inches so i've gone ahead to use our top length to cut this out so once we are done with that we are going to go ahead and mark our basic measurements which is shoulder to arm hole 9 inches shoulder to bust 9 and half shoulder to under bust 13 and half shoulder to waist 17 inches so i'll go ahead and mark this and connect the lines together label them it's very necessary for you to label your pattern so once we are done with that we go ahead and mark our dart measurement which is four inches we mark our dart measurement which is four we go ahead and mark measurement which is four inches so once we are done with that we we'll connect the lines together on our waistline we we'll mark half inch on both sides on our waistline we we'll connect it together and connect it to our top length this way now because this is the back block this is our back block we'll go ahead and mark our shoulder measurement which is seven so because this is the front block rather we have our dart we'll go ahead and extend this dart line to our shoulder extend this dart line to the shoulder so once you extend it that way on your shoulder line mark five to five and a half inches so i'm going to go ahead with five and a half i will connect my five and a half to my bust line i will connect it now on your under bust this is our under 
bust we'll go ahead and mark half inch on both sides on our other bust we we'll mark half inch on both sides this is what we have now we'll go in with our pattern master and use this inner curve pattern masters are available at our store i'm going to go ahead and put down the details so you connect it this way and then you connect your under bust to your waistline making use of the curve you have in your pattern master so we go ahead and connect this so once we are done this is what we are going to have now because this is off shoulder what we want to achieve is off shoulder with total neck i will go ahead and close this my shoulder that so that the effect of our bustier is going to pop up so for you to close your shoulder that you just go ahead and hold it this way and then you take this down which is seven inches we'll mark seven inches so this is our shoulder measurement now on the bust line go ahead and mark your bust measurement which is 10.5 our bust measurement which is 10.5 our waist measurement which is 10 inches and at this lower part we we'll make use of our hip measurement which is 11 inches so this is what we have so we'll go ahead and connect the lines together connect the line now because what we want to achieve is off shoulder you are going to determine how many inches you want to take off note that the number of inches you take off determine how off is going to be and the number of inches we take off is what we are going to use for the total neck so i'm going to make it of five and a half inches for my off shoulder i will go ahead and mark where i have five and a half so this is where i have five and a half inches and go ahead and mark it on a straight line now on this straight line is where i'm going to go ahead and mark my shoulder measurement which is seven inches i'll mark my shoulder measurement which is seven inches now i will connect this my shoulder measurement to my bust line connect your shoulder measurement to your bust line i'll go ahead and connect it this way so we have this slope take note of the number of inches we took off which is five and a half inches so for my third block i want to have a sweet tart neckline i'll go ahead and just take it in a little at this midpoint at this middle center front i'll just go ahead and take it in a little so that i can have a sweet art effect just a very tiny sweet art effect so this is what we have for the front block and then we'll go ahead and cut this out what we are going to have we'll go ahead and open up our shoulder dart then we'll go ahead and cut out our dart front block we have two pieces so i'll go ahead and set this aside we are going to do is to go ahead and mark our zip allowance which i'm going to take one inch so i'll mark one inch for my zip allowance i will go ahead and connect it together after connecting it together i'll go ahead and mark four inches for my dad starting from where we have zip allowance i'll mark four inches I will go ahead and connect the lines together. Now on my waistline, I will go ahead and mark half inch on both sides. Then I will connect it together. So this is what we have i'll go ahead and mark my bust measurement which is 10.5 starting from where we have our zip allowance i'll mark my bust 10.5 mark my waist 10 inches mark my hip which is 11 inches i'll go ahead and connect the lines together So once I'm done with that, we took away five and a half inches for the front block. 
we are also going to do the same for the back block so i have five and a half inches i'm going ahead and extend the line so on this line i'll go ahead and mark my shoulder measurement which is seven inches then i'll connect it to my arm o and of course for the back block i want it to be straight so i'm still going to maintain this straight line the next thing i'll do is to go ahead and cut this out this is what we are going to have i'll be going in with this beautiful african print and african prints are available at our store both in wholesale and in retail prices so i'll go ahead and fold it into two fold it into two place my back block on it and go ahead and cut this out after cutting it out for the back block we are going to have two pieces i'll go ahead and set this aside go ahead and fold my fabric into two and this closed part is where you place your center front of your front block this way and i'll cut it out of cut it out we are going to have just a single piece because it's folded into two so we set this aside so go ahead and fold it into two and place our side piece and then we'll go ahead and cut this out for the front block we are going to have two pieces for the side and for the center front we are going to have this and you can see the sweet tax effect that we are able to achieve so we'll go ahead and set this aside the sleeve because we are going to have tiny sleeve so i'm going ahead to fold my fabric into four i will mark my round sleeve measurements which is eight inches So I hope you guys can see. So this is where we have our round sleeve measurement. So now we took away five and a half inches. So we are going to place the five and a half inches away like this. And for our arm o in the basic pattern, we took nine inches for the arm o. So we are going to mark where we have nine inches because automatically this sleeve is going to fix into the arm o. We are going to mark where we have nine inches. But note that the five and a half we took away is off the tape of the fabric. So this is what we have now for that five and a half that we took away from the basic measurements we are going to go ahead and place the five and a half at this point so we mark where we have five and a half this is where we have five and a half so we we'll connect this five and a half inches to this arm o let me just come over again so we took our round sleeve which is eight inches now for you to know the number of inches required for you to have your arm o place the five and a half inches off your fabric and mark the inches you use for your arm o for us we made use of nine inches for the arm o and this is where we have nine inches now the five and a half inches we took off come to this part of your sleeve and place the five and a half inches so you connect your five and a half inches to your arm o connect it to your arm o and connect your arm o to your round sleeve so you go ahead and cut this out have we'll go ahead and notch this midpoint just to enable you know where you have your midpoint so for our off shoulder sleeve this is what it looks like so we'll go ahead and set this aside the number of inches required for you to achieve your turtle neck is simply the number of inches you took away for your off shoulder so we took away five inches for our thought our off shoulder so we are going to go ahead and fold our fabric as many times as possible because we want to achieve uh, we want to achieve about four to five strings for our off for our turtle neck so for the length of our off shoulder for the length the length required for our turtle neck is equal to the number of inches 
we used for the off shoulder so we made it of five inches for our off shoulder so we are going to add one inch for our sewing allowance so we have six and a half inches so we are going to mark where we have six and a half inches so this is basically our six and a half so i'll just mark it into two so that i can get the two sides so this is where we have okay let me just cut this out so the number of inches required for your off shoulder is simply the number for your cutting neck is simply the number of inches you took away for your off shoulder so we took away five and a half inches we'll go ahead and add one inch for our sewing allowance we have six and a half so we've gone ahead to mark six and a half now for the wideness of your strings so it depends on you you can make it of one and a half you can make it of two you can make it of one inch it depends on how tiny you want it to be so i'm going to go ahead with one and a half inches so by the time i'm done sewing it i will just have one inch left so i'll go ahead and cut this out so we have four pieces you can see we have four pieces of it so you can go ahead and make yours like five or six it just depends on how many um turtle neck you want to achieve and the length of the pieces that we have is six and a half inches and for the white neck because we we are going to turn it into two like this so that we can have a thick form that is why we double the measurement so let's say at the end of the day we are going to achieve one and a half but on a single fold we have three inches because we are going to fold it this way so that it can have some weight so we go ahead and set this aside so the next thing we have to cut out now basically is what we are going to use for the turtle neck so the round neck is 15 inches so we went ahead to add two inches for our sewing allowance so we have 17 inches for our round neck now for the wideness of what you want to achieve it depends on how tiny or how big you want it to be okay but i prefer it when it's tiny at the end of the day i just want my total neck to be one and a half inches so it means that on a single fold like this we have three inches but when it's folded into two we are going to achieve one and a half inches so these are the things required and fold your lining into two and place your piece note that our lining will be shorter than the main fabric so i'll go ahead and fold out where i want my lining to stop and that is about one and a half inches so i'll go ahead and cut this out so the first thing we are going to do now is to place our lining on the lower part and then we'll go ahead and stitch it all the way down our lining is shorter than the main fabric you go ahead and pull it up so once you pull it up i'll go ahead and sew the two sides and the neckline so the only part i will sew is the arm o block now we have our front block and we have our wording so i'm going to go ahead and this is the three pieces for the front block so i'll go ahead and place my wording this way the shining part of my wording i cut out four pieces of my wording place it this way go ahead and place it this way So once we are done with that, we will now go ahead and stitch it together. So you go ahead and iron it so that it can stay firm. So once it's ironed, you now we now go ahead and stitch it this way. We we'll start from the lower part and we we'll stitch it to the upper part. So I'll go ahead and stitch this part and I'll also stitch these two sides together. So once our four pieces that we cut out for the turtle neck and then we'll turn it up so the way to, the best way to turn it up is probably stitching the side once we stitch the side we we'll just turn it up so i'll go ahead and do the same for the four pieces to turn the four pieces and this is what it looks like okay now for our neckline not where you have your midpoint 
your neckline know where you have your midpoint so i'm going to place one of our turtle neck this way so i'll place the second one by the right side you can actually do this first before you couple it up it depends so we'll go ahead and place it this way so we have one two three and i'll place the third the fourth one this way on the neck line so this is what we have basically so i will go ahead and stitch this up now basically because so i'll go ahead and stitch this up so this is what it's going to look like you can see the so after fixing our stripes this is what it looks like you can see and we don't have any stitch at this part so make sure you tuck in your stripes inside and you stitch it from under right so this is what we have now for what we want to use for our neck piece i'm gonna head to iron our paper stain what we are going to do now is we are going to fold it into two once we fold it into two this way we will notch this midpoint now we've notched this part as the middle point so you fold it into two like i said i want mine to be very tiny so you can increase yours if you want to what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go ahead and make sure that this middle point falls at the midpoint of our dress right and then we'll go ahead and stitch it this way so basically this piece is only going to hold only these four pieces and then you stitch it at this lower side so i'll go ahead and do that and show you guys what it looks like we are going to take our sleeve now for the sleeve we'll go ahead and end this upper part we'll end the upper part of the sleeve and also the lower part of the sleeve so we are done with that this is our sleeve we've gone ahead to couple our sleeve up so we are going to take we are going to take one side and stitch it to the front piece this way and we'll take this second side and stitch it to the back 